Hey, what's up? This is Sean, and today we're going to be looking at Give It Away by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And this song has been requested many times, and everybody seems to request more and more chili peppers. So I'm going to try to do as much of that as I can. And as usual, I am teaching it straight from the Red Hot Chili Peppers book. And so I know all the notes are correct. And uh, for this song, you're just going to need a four-string bass and standard tuning. Nothing fancy or special there. And uh, this is a, 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 a funk song. So you're going to want to kind of maybe make it kind of funky. And you're going to add a lot of slides and stuff, which we'll get into in a minute. But uh, for this song, you're going to start with a four measure rest with just the drums and the guitar. Then the bass is going to come in with two big slides. And it says to slap them, which pretty much just means hit the string with your thumb. Like slapping is... But what we're going to do is just... Just like that. Five on the E slide to 17, and then slide back, and then do the same thing, but to 15 instead. So, just like that. And then you're going to come in with the main line, which is the verse. And this is the bass part that everybody knows of the song. It's, it's pretty funky, so it just goes like this. Just like that. And all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start with the open A string and then go to your D string and hammer on 12 to 14 then hit 12 on the G then go to your A string 3 open A 3 again so and you're going to want to add that slide there kind of makes it funkier sounding and this is a good song, like I said, to just kind of improv on and just make it your own. So just have some fun with it. And then the second time it changes just a little bit, not much. The second time it goes like this, everything's the same to begin with. But instead of going, you leave out that first three. You just rest and then go. So it's like that. And then you just keep repeating the two over and over again throughout the verse. And then the only time it really changes is when it gets to the chorus. And that's when he, the singer is singing in triplets the give it aways. And the first time it's just going to be open A. Next times it's going to be on the E string, four, then five, and slide up. So, just like that. And then you're going to have some rest, like a three beat rest. And then after you do that a few times, you're going to go back to the verse. Then eventually you're going to come through the chorus again. And then you're going to get to the guitar solo, which it's very similar to the verse line. All it is is this. And then it's got one thing at the end that goes like this. Which that part's not too tricky once you get it down. But we'll talk about that in a second. So first we're just going to start with the intro line which repeats six times. It's just open E, hammer on 10 to 12 on the E, then hit 10 on the A, and slide it up. And then uh, hit open E, then three on the E. Hit three one more time, so. Just like that. And you repeat that six times. And then you have this. Uh, you're going to hit open E once, then you're going to have straight eight no eighth notes, which is just 10, open, oh this is all on the E by the way, 10, open, 9, open, 7, open, 5, open, 3, open, 2, uh, sorry, 3, open, 2, open, so just 10, 9, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, like that, so. It's not too bad once you get it. And then you're going to go back to the verse, and then you're going to repeat everything over again that you've already done. And then as you're kind of exiting out of the song, you start adding some strange fills into the give it away. He, the singer's going to be singing the chorus, but instead of doing the chorus line, which is just, you're going to be doing the like that. But he has a bunch of fills, and I just want to teach you guys some of them, and it kind of 
it plays them randomly. So just kind of find a spot that fits in, or just make up your own fill, and you know, that's always fun. But one of them is just, they all start the same way. They all start with that. So this first one, you have that, and then it's just this, which is just 14 on the D, 14 on the G, back to 14 on the D, 12 on the G, then do that one again, Four, 14 on the D, then 12 on the G, slide up. And the next one here goes like this, which those are just pull-offs. So after this, which is the normal part, you're going to want to hit open A, and then a pull-off is when you hit the string once, bend it a little bit, and then let go, and pull off to open. So, like that. So it's open A, 7 on the D, pull off, 5 on the D, pull off, 4. So, on the D string. That's the second fill. The third fill goes like this, and it repeats this one once more. It's just like this. Which, all you're doing there is open E, 3 on the E, open A, pull off 3 on the A to open A, then 3 on the E. So, like that. And then it repeats that one for the next fill. Then it, you only have one more fill, which is kind of, this is the very ending of two measures of the song. And it goes like this. Uh, well, after it, normal. And that's how, it, how, that's how the song ends. So it's just open A, and then you're going to hit it one more time, open A. Then you're going to have pull-offs. Three on the A, five on the A, six on the A, seven on the A, nine on the A, ten on the A. Then hit twelve. And just hold it out. So that last fill is. And then that's all there is to the entire song. So nothing too difficult in the song, you know, just kind of funky, just, and it leaves you plenty of room to just improv with it. It's not too difficult of a song once you get the rhythm, once you get used to it. So I just think it's a fun song for you guys to mess around with. So, but if I confused anybody, which I have a habit of doing, just send me a, uh, send me a message or send me an email and I'll try to help you the best I can. And if you want to request any more songs for me to do, I, I love requests and that's where I get most of my songs from. But uh, other than that, just thanks for watching.